Hi, this is your host, Sapil Bhartiya, and we are here at Open Source Summit in Dublin. And today we have with us Gabriele Paoloni, your chairman of the Elisa Gorning Board. First of all, it's great to have you on the show. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, tell us a bit about the project. What does it mean? So, what does it mean? So, Elisa stands for Enabling Linux in Safety uh, Critical Applications. And the main goal of the project is to help and facilitate uh, third parties to integrate Linux in a safety critical systems and eventually make a safety claim on such systems. And what are safety critical systems? These are all systems where a fault could lead to a hazard in terms of damage to people or eventually even loss of human life. So, and yeah, the project started back in early 2019 and today we are uh, working, you know, uh, with a quite decent uh, membership baseline um, across different working groups and across different uh, industry domains. Perfect. Can you talk about the community, as you mentioned, you know, it's a, what kind of companies are involved with the project? Yes, so we have uh, different members. So um, especially uh, we have mainly uh, automotive uh, domains, um, um, companies like uh, BMW, uh, Toyota, uh, Intel Mobileye, um, but uh, recently we also uh, have, you know, also Boeing uh, joined as a premium member, and uh, that is like a significant change because we can now start also um, investigating and working into the avionic uh, domain. So till now we were mainly focused on automotive and medical. Uh, domains and now we are able to effectively to, to expand. Um, also, we have different uh, general member. Uh, I can think of Code Think, uh, Arm, ZT. Um, so um, it's you know it's it's quite you know a, a significant you know membership baseline. Um, I think right now we are more than twenty members. Uh, active, yeah, something like that, yeah. And before you, I was talking to uh, one of the working groups, which was in the automotive space. Uh, I was talking to Philip there. Um, I also want to understand when you talk about, you know, the safety critical applications, uh, what is the scope of this project? Because when it comes to safety, safety, because sometimes folks confuse safety with security. So if you can define what what is the specific about safety critical applications? Yes, so the main difference is that so safety is all about reducing the risk of a hazard to an acceptable degree, okay? It's not about uh, eliminating the risk. Um, so therefore, in order to achieve safety, it is, we, we evaluate, you know, how measure uh, and techniques, you know, can, can can contribute to this uh, risk reduction. Um, security, it is, you know, it implies a, a malicious intent, okay? F f safety is mainly focused on a random fault, on a, on a bug without any malicious intent, whereas security, you know, uh, it always implies that there is a, a malicious action behind that could exploit, uh, you know, the, the current system. So, and this is uh, the main difference. So in the end, uh, indeed, techniques can be used uh, on a common ground between safety and security, but they must be uh, interpreted, you know, with, with a different view. Okay, something that can be acceptable for security cannot be acceptable for safety and also uh, vice versa. Uh, yeah, uh, this is interesting because when we talk about safety, uh, it could be also building safety. I talked to a lot of companies, they just, you know, focus on building management where we talk about, you know, all the fire hazard, a lot of things. So can you also talk about from the perspective of the group, what kind of industries ought, are involved, any specific industry that are, you know, kind of uh, like actively engaged with the project? Right. So right now, um, 
as, I, as I said, we have uh, uh, actively, so Elisa is actively working uh, on two domains, uh, that is the medical uh, domain and the automotive domain. In the medical domain, uh, um, we are investigating in uh, uh, open APS uh, use case, so that is basically a control machine for an artificial pancreas. And uh, so for people that are suffering for diabetes, uh, for instance. And in the automotive domain, we are working, you know, on the, we are working on the telltale uh, use case. And in general, we are always, we are always keen, you know, to, to embrace more and more uh, use cases as members chime in and, you know, make proposals. Right now, uh, since Boeing uh, joined as a premium member, I think it was like last month or something like that. So right now also an avionic working group has been proposed. And, uh, and that is, you know, quite, uh, you know, it is quite interesting because it would allow us to embrace yet one more domain. And the interesting thing is that even if we work across different domains, there, has, there is always a common ground from a technical point of view. So all the ingredients, techniques and tools that we uh, you know, deliver as part of ELISA, so they can contribute significantly you know, on uh, all these uh, safety critical domains, okay? Even if the safety standards are, you know, are different, effect. There is a one emerging space which is becoming very interesting, which is, uh, of course, I talked to, you know, uh, Philip before that about the automotive cars, but uh, we are not talking about the traditional cars. We are also talking about EVs or smart cars like Teslas and everybody is moving to yeah. So that's called kind of creating a totally different set of challenges when it comes to safety. Yeah. Is that also within the scope of the project? I think we need to make a, a clarification here. So ELISA, as such, uh, doesn't make any safety claim. Okay, so effectively we do not provide a safe Linux distribution and we do not make a safety claim on the uh, tools that are provided, on the documentation that is provided. What we do is we deliver a set of ingredients and tools that can be used by the, by the integrators, by, the, by third parties, okay? Now, going back to the, to the question, I mean, indeed, Enabling Linux uh, to run autonomous driving application, that is quite a challenging target. Are we trying to achieve that? Are we trying to support that from an Elisa point of view? The answer is yes. I mean, the, the analysis and techniques that we are um, you know, investigating, this can be used also in, uh, in, uh, you know, in supporting autonomous driving application. In, in fact, from Red Hat, uh, we, we are doing that right now. So we are effectively, you know, leveraging this, uh, the, the work that we do in ELISA for our own uh, in-vehicle OS distribution, as an example. So the answer is yes, but it also depends on the integrator, as you said. Absolutely, yeah. yes. Perfect. So, yes. Perfect. Uh, if I ask you, the project, I think, was created like around 2019. Yes. If I'm not wrong, uh, can you share some of the milestones that you have? You see that hey, this is the achievement we have made over the years. What will those be? Yeah. Well, uh, the first thing is uh, I remember when I joined the, the project it was in late uh, 2019. At that stage, uh, there was no automotive working group, there was no architecture working group, there was no. Uh, development process working group that now is uh, called OSCP. So, and so what happened? So the first thing is we started to look into a specific uh, use case. So we enabled the automotive use cases. I think at that time there was the medical device. Uh, that was the only use case. So we enabled the automotive domain. We kicked off a series of working group that are uh, providing, uh, you know, tools and technical solutions with a specific focus on the kernel. So that is the Safety Architecture Working Group, OSCP Working Group, Linux uh, for Safety Critical Feature Working Group. So all of these were, you know, were missing. And uh, indeed, also the, the membership baseline, it grew uh, 
quite significantly from between 2019 and, and, and now. I think probably it, it, it more than doubled, something like that, if I remember correctly. Now, I don't have the numbers uh, in my hand, so, but uh, you know, we, we had definitely a significant increase in the membership. And, and last but not least, uh, the, um, the public visibility of ELISA. Right, so right now we have you know a YouTube channel. We have uh, we are active on Twitter, on LinkedIn, and we have we are able to reach you know the the ecosystem you know uh, of functional safety quite effectively. Whereas initially, we you know the, very few people could you know could could know about Elisa, right? So, and yeah, so we we have made many different programs on multiple. Um, aspects, so the use case aspects, the technical uh, deliverables aspects, and the, you know, also from a, um, a, a public visibility point of view, sponsorship point of view, that also grew significantly, yes. What are the things that you are working on? What are the things that are in the pipeline? Okay, so as a chair of the governing board, I make sure that uh, the goals that are set by the governing boards are progressing, you know, uh, to completion, and I'm tracking, you know, the, the status of these goals, and uh, and also from a from a technical point of view, uh, you know, I also lead the safety architecture working group, and I'm quite deeply involved with uh, tools that are able to provide an architectural view of the Linux internals, drivers, and subsystems. We, you know, we also uh, work on uh, safety analysis. So we analyze you know, what are the most critical uh, subparts of the kernel in supporting specific safety applications that are uh, defined by the domain working group, like the automotive working group and the medical working group. So, and, uh, so this is... Uh, Personally, what, what I do, right? So, on let's say on the management side, you know, I'm, uh, you know, I, I, I make sure that you know the Lisa goals are are progressing uh, pretty well. And on the technical side, I look after you know my um, the, the safety architecture working group. Yes. Gabriele, thank you so much for taking time out today and talk about the Lisa project, uh, their scope, and also uh, clarifying you know uh, something about safety and what are the industries that are leveraging it. And as usual, I would love to have you back on the show. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was my pleasure to to be here and to talk about Elisa and the current activities. Thank you.